Five days a week in this place is a pain. Hey, don't tell me, baby. I've been in here a year. One year. Oh, can you believe this? Come on, what are you gonna do? Let's go. Oh, come on, let's All go. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, at you. you cannot run away from the rain, Bobby. Yeah, all right. Let's go over there and have a couple of beers so it stops. All right, that sounds good to me. All right, put me for the first three. All right, well, you're on. And then I'm going home. That's good enough. Heads. Oh, what is oh, it? My tails, I'm sorry. Now, wait a minute. What is it? Tails. What do you don't believe me? I don't believe what? you. Hey! Oh, <laughs> Yo, two beers. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, man, I want a drink. Hey, Mac, how about it? Two beers, huh? This uh, gentleman has muscles in his hair, Bobby. So what? I want my beer. Hey, Mac, you hear me? Look, how many times do I have to say we want two beers down here now? Uh. Hey, how about us, huh? Hey, you, look at me when I'm talking to you. Peace. Take it easy, boy. Look, me and my friend, we've been waiting here a long time, okay? Hey, you got any ID, pal? Yeah, I got ID this. Hey, wit. This kid's a real wit. Come on, let's get out of here. There's a thousand bars around here. We don't Stay need put. To... I like this place. I like the service and the friendly atmosphere around here. You better split, pretty boy, while you're still breathing. Come on, boy. I think you better leave. Hey. All right. That's the way you want it. You'll hey, get hey, it. hey! Now you pick up that glass and you take your jigaboo friend and the two of you get the hell out of here.
You look wonderful. I feel terrific. Yeah, I can tell. I mean, you blew the job at the plant. Oh, well, I gotta tell you, that, that, that's like blowing a ticket on the Hindenburg. Shh. Funny, real wit. Yeah, that's what the cops said last night, too. Exact same thing. You're just like your father. Oh, come on, Ma, no ghost stories. I'm in the can here, and this ain't... Yeah, well, ain't I know much. where you are. Yeah. You talk to the lawyer. You talk to him. He says you'll probably do time. Time? Hitting a cop. He's a felony, Bobby. I didn't hit a cop. Well, I don't remember. Yeah, I know. Well, the lawyer says, see, that he'll... Well, he'll try and get a friendly judge. You know, maybe they can knock it down to a misdemeanor. Maybe try and get a suspended sentence. But well, he says that things are tough, you know? I mean, there's an election coming up. Nobody wants to look soft on punks. I'm not a punk. I'm just telling you what the lawyer said. Well, if he says I'm a punk, maybe we ought to get another lawyer, huh? He didn't say that. It's just what the newspapers might say. That's all. All right, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. Well, what are we doing here arguing about this, huh? Miss, your time is up. Th thanks for coming down here. Thanks for getting that lawyer. We're going to walk right out of that courtroom. Hey, Bobby. Hey, man. How you doing? Oh, lousy. Yeah. It's the life, huh? Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of bozos in here, man. It's rough. They give me a hard time, Kirk. I'm staying out of trouble. I suggest you do the same. Man, I'm sorry about all this. I... Yeah, you and me both. How are your folks taking it? Yeah, my sister, she's pretty cool, but my grandmother broke her heart. Yeah. yeah my mom's not taking it too well either. I think she's gonna miss me a lot. I used to have some good times after my old man left. Well, hold on to your memories, kid. It's not gonna be any good times in here. Hey man, take a look around here. These guys ain't all that tough. You'll learn. Well, you let me know if they're giving you a hard time, okay? Okay, kid. Let me see you later. I gotta get back. Hey, Bobby. I see you.
You don't have to work here, you know. I could get you something easier. No, thanks. You should wise up, boy. So why? Look here. You are what is known as fresh white meat. And fresh white meat don't do no easy time. Not looking like you do anyhow. Now you can be a duke, a dip, a sweet boy, or a jailhouse punk. Or you can do your time in segregation. Or you can leave here in a pine box, boy. You don't have to be no dead white meat. Can be uh, live white meat, right? You're live white meat? I never realized how soft a man was. They lost. Don't be so dumb. Chardinum, 785238. Okay, you have a visit. How you doing? Great. <laughs> We're having a good time in here. Funny. You look okay. I mean, a little pale, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I was late for the beach trip, you know? <laughs> Funny again. <laughs> I'm a million laughs. Oh, uh, you're looking good, Kay. <laughs> Real good. Yeah. Everything all right at home? Oh, it's, uh, same. Almost. <laughs> Quit my job. Why? I was bored. I'm, I'll, get, I'll get another one next week, you know, sales or waitressing or something. You making out? <laughs> Having a wonderful time, you know. Just like you. I mean, I've, I've walked through the neighborhood, you know, and people ask where you've been, and I, uh... Since you went to California. And I see the smiles, and it makes me feel just, uh... Terrific. Why don't you tell them the truth? Tell them I'm in the joint. I don't care. I care. Uh, what do you want me to say? Bobby's doing time. Bobby's doing a stretch. Uh, not in here, huh? I want you out of here. I mean, do you understand? I mean, it just... It kills me to see you locked up. I mean, it just... It tears me apart. It hurts, Bobby. Do you understand? It hurts. I don't. I mean, just acting like you don't care. I do care. I hate it here and I want to get out. Don't get into trouble. I won't. Damn it, Bobby. Ma, I'm not going to get in trouble. I'm not.
Fallon? Yeah. What? I hear you're the guy who kissed Big Mooney on the nose. Also hear you belted out a couple of cops before you got here. Well, you hear a lot, don't you? Yeah, I do. So I'd like to know if you're as uh, smart as you think you are. What are you getting at, Thompson? I run the boxing program here. Not that it does any good, but it's a way of hitting someone without getting tossed in the hole. Well, you want my man here to box? You get the brass monkey, pal. Just what's he got to do? Fight. If he can. <laughs> if he can. Why, this little pretty blue-eyed devil here fights better than anyone in the joint. It's got to be a little of the blood in him, you know what I mean? Does this cupcake speak for you? This cupcake happens to be this young man's manager and, and friend. When he sleeps, I sleep. When he works, I work. Yeah, I, I understand the boy. I know it makes him tick. Is that how you both got locked up the same night? Oh, hey. That was a severe misunderstanding what happened that night. It sure was. Some poor sucker ended up in the hospital for a week. You want to fight or not? Well, uh, what's in it for him? Easy time. Be at the gym tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock sharp. Both of you. Better not be. He's gonna move with him. It's Woody Shaw. 21 pro fights, 19 knockouts. And he shot up a saloon and killed four guys. It means he's doing life four times, and he don't ever smile. Well, what do you want me to do? Just get in the wreck. Here, you think you can put that on? Yeah, I'll figure it out. I got the word that this guy's pretty rough. You know him? Man, nobody knows him. Just stay out of his way, all right? What are you doing, Kirk? I can't see a thing. Wait, that's, uh, that's a new way of putting it on. We, we like to do it the old way. Open your mouth. Tie the strap under his chin. Don't make it too tight. <laughs> you look mean, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. You were finished. Just move with him, Bobby. Nice and easy, all right? Nice and cool. Yeah. You might try holding your hands up, too. But just keep moving. Don't worry about it. Keep moving. I'm going to nail him. Just stay out of his way, that's all. All right, here. Time. Come 
matter with you, Fallon? This ain't the street. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I didn't know what happened. I just went crazy. Forget it, man. Go back to your cell. Well, I blew it. Gotta admit, though, right? I mean, he's got the instinct, don't he? I mean, he's a banger, right? Make sure he's back tomorrow. Thompson. He's talking about you, babe. Yeah. Gonna train you and everything. We're gonna do easy time now, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, everybody is talking about it. That's respect we got, Bobby. Respect. But uh, listen, um, you're gonna have to learn how to control yourself a little bit. I mean, you don't want to kill anybody. What's your angle? The way I see it. You can box us right out of here. Huh? I mean... Out of here! Going someplace? <laughs> it's prison time, Bobby. No time. Just forget it. Yeah. Hey, you know, we've been in here eight months, 16 days, and uh, four hours. I've been keeping track, Kirk. You can be my personal calendar when we get out. <laughs> what do you plan to do when we get out, kid? I don't know. Lots of things. Well, you better start thinking about something. Thompson says the warden's going to start a boxing program. That means he's going to be down here, him and all the guys in the gray suits. That's the parole board, man. They see you up there banging away, all white and beautiful. You know what they're going to start thinking? What? They're going to start thinking there ain't no point in holding that boy the full bit. No point in holding his pal either, right? They like it when a guy comes out the joint and makes a name for himself. Shows what a good job they did. Go to jail and learn a trade, huh? That's it, babe. That's just what you're doing. And you like it, too, don't you? What? Banging those guys, nailing them against the floor, sure, you like it. You like the way it feels. I can see it, Bobby. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, gee. Even like the smell of the gym, don't you? The way it stinks. Get out of here. Think I'm crazy, huh, Bobby? Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm not crazy, kid. It's the way it's got to be. Meant to be. And when you get out of here, what's the one thing you want for yourself, babe? I'm not talking about the bras or the booze or anything like that. I mean, the real thing. I don't know. Ah, come on, this is Kirk you're talking to, Bobby. Well, I guess uh, a 
I'd probably like to, I don't know, you know, buy a house for my mother, something like that. It's gonna take a ton of money, Bobby boy. Yeah. Come on, let's haul this stuff over to the block. No, wait, wait, let's finish what we were talking about, you know, about your old lady in the house and all that. Look, I'm never gonna be able to afford a house, and you and I are gonna be lucky if we can even get a job when we get out of here. You're dreaming. No, Bobby, but money buys the dreams. Don't you see that? Money makes the dreams come true. What are you getting at, huh? Hey, you're young. You still got time to grow. So what? So what? So what? You can buy the biggest dream of all, Bobby. Here we go. Hey, look at it. You punch like a mule kicking downhill, right? You're gonna be a heavyweight. You got the chin, you got the guts. But most of all, Bobby, most of all, my blue-eyed friend, most of all, you're white. You know what that means, do you, Bobby? That means, like, you can be the... The next White Hope. <laughs> the White Hope of the Midwest. White, <laughs> yeah. white boy gets crowned back from all the jitterbug niggas of the earth. And that's the reality, Bobby. And you got a shot at it. Heavyweight champion of the world. Heavyweight champion of the world. I want you to meet Gus Caputo. Gus runs the Imperial Sporting Club. This is Kirk, a trainer. Hello, Kirk. And this is Bobby Fowler. How are you? He's our 82-pounder. No, oh, you're the kid that's gonna fight my kid, Munoz. I don't know. Suits me. Who's that? He's over there. Munoz! Let me see you. Is, is that the same Munoz that fought in the gloves last year? Yeah, I'm saving him for the Olympics. He wants to be in the pros. Oh, man. You trying to psych me out? I'm not trying to psych you out, kid. Just answering his question. What are you doing in here? Time. So what? So do you. You just go out there and you hit this Munoz with the steak and potatoes, huh? Just give him the main course. He'll go. Uh, you both know the rules. Remember, no rabbit punching, no hitting below the belt. Break when I tell you and keep the break clean. All right, shake hands and come out fight. Just bust him up, okay? Just bust him in half. Right? You know what an exhibition is? It's the same kind of fight any other fighter. You use combinations. One, two, one, two. It's just what you thought. You're letting him do his thing, kid. Here, you want some? But you got to get off, Bobby. All right, all right. Just keep moving with him. All right. Look here. Don't be paying no attention to all this jive. 
You ain't no Muhammad Ali, just an amateur. Now, when he jab, you bend and hook him. Hook him hard. He ain't nothing but an amateur. Some kind of bad. You crazy, but you some kind of bad, Bobby. Kidding like that all the time? Yeah. All the time. shaking too many hands. Them hands is your tools. Yeah. OK, Woody. Oh, Woody. Thanks. Hey, it's all right. Did you see that? I made him smile, Kurt. Did you see that? <laughs> fighter out there today. Not as good as me. Don't puff yourself up. You're not that good kid. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, you tell me who knocked him out, huh? He beat himself. He was performing out there. He wasn't fighting. Look, when I hit him, he went down, didn't he? You're mean, aren't you? Yeah, sometimes. What are you going to do when you get out of here? I don't know. Have a dozen women, 300 beers. What's it to you? You're stupid. I thought you were going to be smarter than what you look. Club fighters cost a dime. You want to be a fighter when you get out of here? Look me up. You don't look like much of a human being, but then who knows? On my feet all day, carrying that slop around. I'll tell you about me. When I saw that kitchen, I mean, I didn't care if the meals were for free. I mean, I, I couldn't eat there. So you just quit, huh? Yeah. Because the restaurant had lousy food? Uh, the boss, you know, was pretty fast with the hands, you know. Thought all the waitresses were for free grabs, so... Uh, <laughs> I let him have it good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you did. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are you going to do now? I'll find something else. Yeah. You uh, seeing anybody? What do you mean? You're going out with anyone. Bobby, I mean, I can't stay home all the time. I go nuts. Yeah. Who are you going out with? Just, uh... I mean, guys I meet, you know. Sometimes for dinner, for drinks. I mean, nothing special. Who are they? It's nobody you know. Well, what do they do? They have, uh, they have jobs. They work, you know? I mean, I told you. Nothing special. Yeah? What's the matter? Nothing. What? What do you expect me to do? I mean, it's no fun being alone. Do whatever you want to do. Hey, Bobby. Listen, uh, it might be a better idea if you didn't come up here anymore. 
You know what? It might be a hell of a lot easier on me. On a gate here. some news. What? They make the Kirk the ward? <laughs> well, they're letting you out. Both of you. Listen, Mr. Caputo, I don't know why you bothered coming up here. Listen, I didn't come up here for a negotiation. I came up here to get you two bums back to Chicago without an arrest. You got questions? Okay. One, I'm not a cop. Two, I'm not a queer. Three, there ain't no three. What are you, then? I'm a sucker for kids who can punch with the left hand. This is where you live? Yeah, my grandmother does. Uh, staying with her until I can get on my feet. Uh huh. <laughs> well, thanks, Mr. Caputo. That's okay. Well, I'll see you, kid. Keep in touch, huh? See ya. Hey, partner.
Pretty good fighters live around here. Yeah? Lulu Perez. Lulu Perez, who's that? He was a pretty good little featherweight. Came out of the amateurs in 56. Classy boxer. That's nice. Every once in a while, they even knocked the guy out. Well, here we are. Thanks for the ride. What are you going to do now? I don't know. I guess I'll look for a job, you know? Yeah. There's work around if you look for it. I thought you wanted me to be a fighter. What I want doesn't matter. It's what you want. Why'd you come up there to meet us? What's your angle? I have no angle. I'm, I'm looking for potential. What do you want from me? You want me to be a fighter? I'm already a fighter. You understand? You're not a fighter. You're a bum. You're an Irish bum. Guys who fight in saloons are bums. You got saloon written all over your face. Now, I think I could do something with you. I, I think I could make a fighter out of you. I don't know if you've got the character. I don't know if you've got the heart. I don't know if you'd get scared the first time you get hit. Maybe you're too much of a bum and you can't change. But if you could change, I think I could make something out of you. There are no guarantees. I'll let you know. I still got that little card you gave me. Just don't do me any favors. so fast, I didn't even know myself. <laughs> Sit. Uh, Charlie, we'd like to talk. Charlie's all right. He tends bar at Harry Dillon's. Doesn't bother anybody, including me. What's his story, then? He loves me. That's his story. He loves me for my teeth. He says all his life, you know, he's always known these Irish ladies with teeth like chalk. So he takes one look at these Indian choppers and he falls in love. I mean, I tell him, you know, I'm part Irish, so probably the teeth will go sooner or later, but he doesn't care. You in love with him, too? Are you kidding? <laughs> uh, it's good to be home, Kate. Really? Good, Bobby. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I worked out a lot down there. I did some boxing. Boxing? Yeah. Hey, Ma. I didn't mean to hurt you when I, I told you not to come and see me anymore. I know. I mean, I know what you meant. Yeah. This is for you. Huh? What's this? Check came from the plant while you were away, you know, for the time you worked before the trouble. Oh, yeah. My cash is for you. 143 and change, and I kept the change. Uh, you should have given this to the lawyer. <laughs> To the lawyer. Oh, yeah. lucky I didn't give him a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'll see you later, Kate. 
I gotta go to work, you know. Stay out of trouble, Charlie. Pleased to meet you, Bobby. I heard a lot about you. Uh, yeah. He sleeps on the couch. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I took him typing. Yeah? Uh-huh. Went back to night school, brushed mm. up. I did all right while you were gone. Oh, I wish you'd uh, typed a few letters to me. You told me not to write. Yeah. I still wish you'd written, though. Did you think about me? What? Yeah. What'd you think about? It? You know, how you getting on, how things were with you. Anyway, it's not the same, Bobby, you know? It's changing. It's changing fast. Nothing's the same anymore. Yeah, I know. That's what the guy said who drove us down here today. You drove? Uh, oh, yeah, he met us up there at the prison. Uh, he wants me to be a fighter. Professional? Yeah, something like that. Oh, Bobby. Oh, uh, come on, Ma. The guy's a manager. He knows what he's talking about. Well, who is he? A guy named Gus Caputo. He runs the Imperial Gym on the south side. I never heard of him. <laughs> yeah, and I never heard of me either. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never said it. What? Welcome home. Thanks. <laughs> Gonna be a boxer, huh? Come on. Go back, sir. Hey, Ma, where am I gonna sleep? Are you kidding? Your first night home, you're gonna sleep in the bed. Well, what about, uh... Charlie sleeps on the couch. Just do what I say. No arguments, huh? Thanks. I missed you. Really missed you. You're all I've got. Morning. You don't have to go. You can stay. I think it's better this way. Suit yourself. I mean, uh, I think.
think it's better if I'm on my own, you know? You better find yourself a job. Yeah. And the money's not gonna last forever. I know. Jobs aren't that easy to find. Hey, Kate. I'm gonna look. You better start now. What are you doing today? I'm busy. Well, are you going or aren't you? Yeah, I'm going, Ma. I'm going. What do you want? I want to be a fighter. Get out of here. What? You heard me. Beat it. I don't want you here. Hey, you're the one who told me to come down here. Yeah, I made you an offer, but you waited too long. I had things to do. I'll bet. You look like a toilet. You stink worse. Now get out of here. I was looking for a job. I'm sorry I didn't get in here day one. Listen, Fallon, you're not sorry. Don't give me that sorry stuff. I made you an offer, you took a hike, now take another hike and get out of here before I have them throw you out. And you're gonna let me be a fighter, or you're gonna have to throw me out of here. All right, take them off. I don't have any boxing You stuff. hear what I said? Take your clothes off. Ready? Yeah. I gotta get this kid a clean setup. Uh, try 31, it's open. Got a job yet? I told you, I was looking for one. Yeah, try these on, these ought to fit. Thanks. I got a friend, George McDonald, at the Chicago Hotel. I'll ask him if he can get you a job. Yeah? Doing what? Doing whatever he tells you to do. your hand, huh? Mm -hmm. Don't say you can do something if you can't. When you wrap your fingers, you gotta spread them. 
you keep them closed like that, you won't be able to make a fist. First good shot you take at somebody, you're gonna break your hand. If you don't know how to do something, just ask. That's what we're here for. What is this, school? Yeah, that's right. You're in kindergarten. And right, when you finish doing that, I want you to do three rounds in a heavy bag. I'd like to fight one of these guys. You don't know how to fight. Everything you do is wrong. You do three rounds on the heavy bag, okay? Okay. Sorry, have I taken your stool? Oh, that's okay. I'd rather stand. I'm Michelle Gordon. Bobby Fallon, how are you? What do you do, Bobby? What do I do? Uh, I'm a fighter. You know, a boxer. Really? Yeah. Are you any good? <laughs> yeah, I'm terrific. Paul? Paul. He's a prize fighter. Paul Stockwood, Bobby Fallon. Bobby, how are you? Hi. Fighter, huh? Yeah, yeah. I haven't turned professional yet, though. When are you going to? I don't know. That's up to my manager, you know? Who's that? Some guy named Gus Caputo. Yeah, I know Gus. He had a couple of good fighters years ago. They always seem to get away from him, though. Excuse me. Say, aren't you Joel Wolfenbach? I've been wanting to do a piece on you for years. Uh, my name is Paul Stockman. What are you guys, with a newspaper or something? Oh, Channel 4 News. Oh, TV, huh? Yeah. Oh. We're doing a story on the old bars, the real ones. That's, that's nice. Why don't you sit down, Bobby? Thank you. I've never met a fighter before. In fact, I've never even seen a fight. Well, um, maybe I'll take you sometime. Why? Why? I, well, I don't know. You, uh, you, maybe you'd like it. You might have some fun. I don't think that's exactly my idea of fun. Well, how do you know until you try it? I'll just take your word for it. Rochelle, I want you to talk to this man. He's really interesting. Coming. Nice meeting you, Bobby Fallon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Michelle. <laughs> hey, uh, it's Imperial Gym. I'm, I'm down here every day. Maybe you'd like to come down. It's really interesting. Maybe. Well, Michelle Gordon, I'd like you to meet Joel Wolf. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much. There's not too many of them. No. Hold on. Hold on. Freddie, you're going to have to start him from scratch. First, we're going to have to turn him around. What do you mean? You're a southpaw. Nobody wants to fight a southpaw. You can be the best fighter in the gym. No one will give you a fight. You gotta learn how to use your right hand properly. What's this? Your hands are like guns. Gus is gonna give you two guns. You're kind of silly with this one. Okay, you forget your left hand. And I want you using your right hand only. From now on, I want you to do one-handed push-ups with that hand. I want you to take long walks and squeeze a handball with that hand. I want you to cut steak. I want you to scratch yourself with that hand. Turn around and face me. Put your left foot forward. Left. One step forward on this. Bounce up and down on both your feet. Make yourself come. All right? OK, now take your right hand, put it up to the side of your head. Don't make a fist. Never make a fist unless you're punching. You tire your muscles out, all right? OK, now what you do is you take a swing. All right, it's not a jab, see? We're doing a bomb. It's a punch. Go ahead. All right. Swivel your hips. Get your shoulder behind you. Uh, really swivel your hips. Get into it. Get behind it. Snap it. Okay, that's good. That's good. Come on, one more time. Okay, look, when you throw the punch, really twist your hand. Just as you throw the punch, so that the whole fist hits right like that. Go ahead. Right. 
Follow through. Put some power behind it. I'll be a sissy. Come on, you're throwing bombs, not throwing jams. Come on. Boom! 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 I'll tell you why I did that. When you throw the punch, dig your chin into your, into your shoulder, see? So no one can come around and hook on you, okay? Throw the punch. All right, okay, that's good. So you cover it up. Go. Punch. Straight. Again. Let's go. These are bombs you're throwing. Let's go. Go. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Fine. Put your hand on your hip. Walk around. Deep breaths. You're doing fine. You're doing good. Hey, Bobby. Hang in there. You'll be all right. Thanks. Come in. You already said you wanted to see me. Yeah, sit down. I want you to start running every morning at 6.30. Yeah. You run a mile, you walk a mile, you run a mile. And get some of that junk out of your lungs. You gonna be there? What do I have to be there for? I'm not the fighter, you are. Hey, just don't give me that stuff, all right? Don't snow me, all right? No more drinking, that's it. You live here? Sometimes I do. <clears throat> this is not gonna be easy, you know? You have a girlfriend? No. Nah. What about your family? You got a family? My mother lives where you dropped me off. What about your father? He left when I was six. Start working tomorrow. Chicago and hotel. It's about four blocks from here. 60 bucks a week, plus room, plus tips. Do you read? Of course I do. What do you read? I don't know. Magazines. You want to read something good? Yeah, read something good. Robert E. Lee? Hey, I don't go in for that kind of stuff. It's about boxing. Robert E. Lee? <laughs> yeah, you'll find out that there are a lot of things in this world that are about boxing. What do you think the gym is? Weapons and tactics, right? You study this book, books like that, to find out about strategy. Well, I'd rather knock guys out, this kind of stuff. Fighting is a war. I mean, you study, you study, you study, you study, you study the guy's strengths, you study the guy's weaknesses. Then you avoid his strengths and you attack his weaknesses. I mean, you study what that guy did in the past so you could find out what he might do to you in the future. And you always respect him. Ah! You always respect this. <laughs> you read this. Stop reading junk. Read about some fighters. Oh, I forgot to tell you, your friend Kirk from the can, he called here a couple of times. Yeah? He leave a number? No, he said he moved. Didn't have a phone. What'd you tell him? I told him you hadn't been around yet. But to keep trying, you would be. Kill you. Que pasa? Uh, uh, all right. I don't believe it. <laughs> 
So I moved on down to Gary, where my sister lives, you know, uh -huh. trying to get a job in the mills down there, but nobody's hiring ex-cons now. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. I don't know. Maybe after Christmas, things will pick up. It's pretty thin now, Bobby. What are you gonna do? I don't know, babe. Just hang on, I guess. Hey, Gus gonna put you in the golden gloves? I don't know. He ain't said nothing yet. You know, you ought to go into the gloves, Bobby, and then turn pro right after. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I know I'm right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's your mother, huh? I bet you she was glad to see you get out of the can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was. <laughs> <laughs> Pick it up. Let's go. Again. That's it. That's it. Get your weight behind. That's it. That's it. A lot of punches. A lot of bombs. That's it. Keep it there. Hi. I didn't figure you were gonna come down here. So don't stop, um, I just wanted to watch. Oh, uh, uh, this, this is uh, Gus Caputo, my manager, Michelle Gordon. She's with TV. How do you do, Mr. Caputo? Bobby invited me to come down. I hope you don't mind. No. Okay, uh, wanna walk around and see what you can see there? Thanks. Feel free. All right, dig it in. Let's go. Where'd you meet her? The restaurant. Yeah? What's she doing up here? She said she never met a fighter before. Who said you're a fighter? That was a great place to live. Had all kinds of movies. In fact, there were seven movie houses in the neighborhood at that time. Kate used to take me to the kiddie Kate, shows on the matinees. Kate. Well, that's my mom. No. Your mother still live there? Yeah. She, uh, well, I, I guess she likes it home, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Oh, we lived other places. Uh, we went out on the road traveling. We saw some nice places, too, but we always came back. Mm. It's not the same now. It's, uh, it's different. It's smaller, kind of emptier. All the movie houses closed down. The stores are gone. All the people we knew moved out. Why'd you come back? Well, I missed it. She's um, part Indian. Shoshone. Really? Yeah. That's a grandfather or something. Uh, you want to see her? What about your father? I, I don't know. Uh, maybe he's dead. It, it doesn't matter. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> right? Yeah. Thanks for dinner. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, that's a real nice place. I like that. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me down to the gym. I really enjoyed seeing you. Well, uh, maybe you come down again sometime, huh? Maybe. Uh, listen, I'd like to see you again. Thursday after work or something. Huh? Work late Thursdays. Put your coat on, you'll catch cold. Let me see the five six. Let me see the three four. Good. Combination. See, everything is combinations. They knock a guy out with a punch he doesn't see. Never make the same mistake twice. Okay. Let the other guy make mistakes. Take away his weapons. Hey, what's he doing here? I got him a job working nights on a freight elevator. Yeah? Thought you might want him around. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. I got a 
call from Jake Lomax. He runs the Lunar Sporting Club. Seems he's heard about you. Yeah? Yeah. He's got some good fighters. They're having some matches on Saturday night. They need a heavyweight. Three rounds. You want it? What do you think? I think you ought to fight some. I think I want it. Who do I fight? They got some guy. <laughs> Punch knocked him down. This guy is the toughest kid on the block. Nothing in the ring. He came to fight, didn't he, Gus? Come on, come on. You kidding? Well, what do you think, Freddy? The left hook. In combination, the left hook was a little high. <laughs> to tell you. Why? I closed the gym for three days during the holidays. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, I did OK tonight, didn't I, Gus? I mean, I did all right, You huh? got a lot to learn. What are you going to do now? Uh, I guess I'll call my mom, tell her I won. You didn't invite your mother to the fights? Nah. Why not? I don't know. It wasn't a real fight. It was a real fight. That guy could have knocked you down. Could have lost. I don't think so. Sooner or later in this life, kid, everyone loses. It's part of the deal. Original sin or something. Nobody's perfect. You did fine tonight. Thanks. I'll see you. Night, huh? Hey, Gus. Here, fill these out. I'm putting you in the gloves. All right. I had a hassle down there. One guy told me ex-cons couldn't get in. Yeah? I found out that was baloney. Sign your name when you're finished there. And make sure all that stuff's accurate, or they'll get you for perjury. You'll be back in the pen boxing burglars. <laughs> OK. <laughs> There's a stamp on the envelope. Don't forget to mail it. I'll mail it. I'll mail it. We should have our first fight in a couple of weeks. You ought to clean up this joint. Or the hotel will get after me. Oh, wait a minute, Gus. Wait. This is for you. Merry Christmas. For me? Come on, open it up. What in the world is it? You'll see. Come on. Rommel. I hope you don't have it. I didn't see it over at the gym. 
He was a general in World War II. A great strategist and tactician. That's all I know about him. Too bad he's on the wrong side. Huh? Yeah. Anyway, I hope you like it. I will. Uh, what are you going to do for Christmas? Uh, I'm going over to my mom's house. Did you get her a present? Oh, yeah. That's good. What are you doing for Christmas, Gus? Oh, I got a few friends I got to see. Huh? Your family? I don't have a family. I never had time to get married, living the way I do. Wouldn't be fair. If you win the gloves, you got a good shot at the Olympics. Yeah. I got to tell you something, though, Gus. I'm, I'm really not too hot on the Olympics. You're not too hot on the Olympics? Well, you're the fighter. I'm the manager. And I decide the way it's going to be. That's our deal. You understand? Yeah, but at that rate, I'll be 22 or 23 by the time I turn pro. That means, uh, what? I'll be 26 or 27 by the time I make any big money. Every one of you kids wants to be a star. I mean, you want to be a superstar, don't you? Well, that's not the way it's done. Money, uh, clothes, your name in the paper, that's not the way it's done. Being a fighter is like uh, being a doctor or a lawyer, a writer or a general. You gotta be a pro. You gotta be a finished pro. Anybody can be good. Not just everybody can be perfect. Man, thanks for the book. Merry Christmas, Bobby. Hey, Gus. Merry Christmas. Two surprises in one day. I hope you like it. <laughs> it's beautiful, Bobby. Yeah, you like yeah. it? The plaid. Love it. Nice, huh? Did you figure it out yourself, huh? Yeah, sure I did. <laughs> oh, it's terrific. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Sure you didn't have some little girl helping you? Oh, well, I picked oh, it out oh, myself. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Take your jacket off. Wasn't sure you'd be here, but I got these anyway. Oh, hey, thank you. <laughs> I'll get you a drink. Oh, no, I better not, Ma. It's Christmas. I know, but Gus will kill me if he finds out. Oh, what are you talking about? A little eggnog won't hurt you. Hey, this is a nice shirt, Mom. Thanks. Hey, these are great. <laughs> oh, made in Ireland. That's nice. Oh, you want me to try these on? Yeah. Christmas. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like a milkshake. Mm. 
Well, if this is going to be a party, I am going to turn up the music. How about a dance for your old mother, huh? Ah, you ain't old. Don't give me that stuff. Yeah. Well, I ain't no spring chicken. Come on. Dance with me. Let me see some of that fancy footwork. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You remember uh, in the ring? Yeah, Gus taught it to me. <laughs> You've been dancing with Gus? No, Kirk. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Charlie's gone. Yeah? Would you believe yeah. it? He wanted to spend Christmas with his mother. I mean, he's 51 years old. What does that make her? 82 or uh. 79 or something? <laughs> He wouldn't take me with him because he said those Irish ladies from the old country, they wouldn't understand. <laughs> yeah. You know what he did? What? I put all his clothes in a shopping bag and I threw them out the window. Oh, no, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you would. <laughs> and on his way out, he says to me, Oh, Katie, you don't understand. Katie, I love you. Katie, I want to marry you. You know what I said? What? I said, keep going out the door, Buster. Back to Mama. <laughs> Besides, I'm already married. <laughs> You're married. Of course. To your father. Wait a minute, you never got divorced? What for? So I could make the same mistake all over again? Hmm. You know, you could probably have him declared legally dead if you wanted. Jack Fallon's not dead. It would take a lot of guns, knives, poisons, car crashes, and snake bites to kill Jack Fallon. How's the boxing coming, Bobby? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I go into Golden Gloves next month. You mean you're gonna fight? In an arena in front of all those people? Yeah. Oh, Bobby, can I come? Oh, uh, I don't know. Um, I gotta get started first, and then I'll see, okay? Yeah. You understand, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Hey, are you going out tonight? Well, you know, Charlie's gone. I wasn't sure about you, so I thought I'd go out somewhere later. Alone? <laughs> I've done it that way most of my life. There's no sense in changing now. Yeah. Well, you look beautiful. <laughs> well, I got myself a new dress. Yeah, I notice. I gotta say, you look terrific in it. What are you looking at me like that for? I, I don't know. You, you look real good, that's all. Well, you look pretty good yourself. Songs. I don't even understand the words. I mean, they have no, no feeling, you know. <laughs> they have no <laughs> tenderness. <laughs> it's just not for me. <laughs> what kind of music did he like? Who? The Jack? Well, <laughs> he liked Crosby because he thought Crosby was Irish. Because. <laughs> He sang all that tour lur lur stuff in that Galway Bay, you know, when Irish eyes are smiling. Mm -hmm. But then he started to like Sinatra. I mean, not in the beginning, you know, when the teenagers were going crazy over him. But then, you know, things started to get bad. His marriage broke up, and uh, Ava Gardner ditched him. But then he came back. I mean, he came back all the way, you know, playing that soldier in that movie from Here to Eternity, and, and he won the Academy Award, and he made some good records. He liked him for that. He respected him. He said Sinatra was becoming a man. He said that he was a guy who understood saloons and loneliness and losing people and things. You know, you never told me that. No? Mm -mm. Well. 
doesn't matter now, does it? Yeah. You got yourself a girl, Bobby? Nah. You ever had a girl? Yeah, I had a few. Yeah? Yeah. Did you love him? <laughs> yeah? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I did at the time, yeah. <laughs> Bobby, you know, you're really getting strong. I'm doing 200 push-ups a day. Hey, that's really something. Uh, you know, a boxer don't really need to be muscular. Hmm? Mm -mm. What does he need? Hmm. He needs, um, well, I don't know, quickness, balance, fast hands, you know, <laughs> and heart. Most of all, he needs a lot of heart, Kate. Yeah. You remember those trains I got you once? What? Those trains. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, you love those trains. Mm-hmm. Do you love me, Bobby? Of course I do, Ma. You know that. I don't feel loved much anymore. Oh, come on, Ma. Why don't you say it, huh? Why don't you just say it out loud? Uh, I love you, Ma. Now, would you please not drink? I don't like when oh, you do that. Oh, you hate me. Oh, no, I don't. I don't start that on Christmas. It's Christmas, all right. Well, the kids are playing with their toys. and the Mothers and fathers are sitting with their eggnog, and everything is new and happy. Okay, Ma. Don't call me Ma. <laughs> what do you want me to call you? Hmm? Huh? Call me Kathy. Kathy? Yeah. What do you mean, Kathy? Let's play a game. Mm -hmm. I'll be Kathy and you'll be Joe. Huh? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, when did you get into town here, Kathy? Well, I just got off of this here bus. I came all the way from Memphis, Chicklin Bone. You come and see. <laughs> How you doing, babe? Pleased <laughs> <laughs> to meet you, Joe. Yeah. You sure a good-looking fella. Uh, <laughs> Hope you're not already taken, because I'd be jealous as all get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Kathy, uh, I just ain't found the right guy yet, you know? Uh-huh. Listen, boy. Mm. What you got that shirt on for, huh? Too warm in here for that. There. That's better, huh? What do you need that for? God, I swear you got the smoothest skin. Ma, don't do that. Hush now, Joe. You're my fella, you hear? Everything is all right. Now and forever.
Well, I heard it. Knock it off, then. Just knock it off. What's the matter with you? What are you doing? Nothing. All right, you had enough for today. Go take a shower. I'm not finished. When I say you're finished, you're finished. Hey, hey, what's eating you? What's going on? I don't know. He's just been like that. Go talk to him. Slow him down. What do you want me to say to him? You're his friend. I don't want him fighting out of control. Bobby? Yeah. What's he doing, kid? Nothing. Come on, huh? Me and you, we've been through too much together. I seen you up, I seen you down, Bobby. Come on, you can level with me. Just get off my back, Kirk, all right? Just get off my back, huh? place she used to go with him. It was the place where I met him. He was 30. I was just 16. I was sitting with a bunch of girls. And, uh, he walked in. And I thought to myself, He's the most beautiful man I've ever seen. And I thought to myself, I've got to have him. I, I didn't know how to meet him. I mean, in those days, you know, a girl didn't ask guys to dance. So I just looked at him. Then I went up to the uh, to the jukebox and I put a quarter in, you know, and I played a couple of songs. And I asked him if he wanted to play a few. <laughs> he looked at me and he laughed and he said, "How old are you, kid?" And, and I said, "20." And he laughed again. So I said, what's so funny? And he said, kid, 
16 will get you 30. And he walked away to the bar for another drink. I thought to myself, can't let him get away that easy, so... I went up to him and I grabbed his hand and I pulled him on the dance floor. He kept his glass in his hand behind my back. And he danced. Like nobody I ever knew. And one thing led to another. And that was the beginning. Why are you telling me this? I don't know. Just this place, I guess. It started me remembering. You didn't. Gus been keeping me real busy. Yeah, I'm sure he has. Hey, I'm in the semifinals now. I know. Will it bother you if I come? No. Not as long as you stay out of the ring. <laughs> Afraid of me? Yeah, he might say that. Uh, listen, I gotta go. Gus don't like it when I'm late. All right. Michelle? I'll call you. Really? Yeah. You want something, babe? No. Maybe you ought to move around a little bit. I'm OK, Freddy. Fallon! Yeah. You're fighting Raymond North, ready? Yeah. Bobby? Hmm. Uh, this is a robe. And that's for doing good work. Fallon, come on. Thanks. Charities would like to remind you that if you're driving, please drive carefully. And now, the heavyweight open semifinal 
Introducing in the blue corner, employed as a hotel worker with a tournament record of three knockouts from the Imperial SC, Bobby Fowler! Employed as a warehouse worker with a tournament record of one knockout and two decisions from the West Side Sporting Club, Raymond North! I'm gonna whoop you, sucker! What? I'm gonna slice you up! I'm gonna hit you so hard! Oh, yeah! told him that you have a hot temper and therefore you're not going to think every time he gets in a clinch with you he's making you look bad I'm gonna kill him. you don't do it that way you go in and box him and you'll knock him out you always hit the guy with a punch he doesn't see to knock him out you won't hit him any other way he's clever he's got experience and you just go in there and keep on swinging with those combinations take your time don't informing you that you've been banned from amateur boxing for life. Hey, we didn't have a hearing yet. Forget about that. Get lost. Now wait, you can still walk. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. I thought you had more brains than that. Put your clothes on. Come on. That was a good punch. Yeah. That's the best thing that happened all night. 
I thought it was a little high. What are we going to do now, huh? What else can we do? I'm turning you pro. I'll work at that, all right? Oh, uh, why don't, why don't you guys go on without me, okay? Sure, sure. Hey. You don't have to run tomorrow. Hey, Gus, I'll be there tomorrow. I didn't know you were here. I tried to get back to the dressing room. I couldn't get through. Yeah, I guess it was pretty wild, huh? What happened? I don't know, Michelle. I guess I lost my temper. Bobby, I, mean, I thought you were going to kill him. That's what I was trying to do. Why? It scares me. Oh, come on, Michelle. It's just a sport. Bobby, when I watch you up there fighting, when I watch you up there hitting somebody... Hey, that's what it's all about, you know? Come on, let's go somewhere. Where do you want to go? I was thinking about my place. This place is nice, like in a magazine or something. You live here alone? During the week. Weekends, I go out to Lake Forest. Oh, with your folks, huh? Are you gonna drink your juice? Oh, yeah. So make yourself comfortable. Um, put on some music if you'd like. Such a hurry to turn pro, right? Yeah. Well, here it is. What is it? Licensed by the Ohio Athletic Commission. Oh, yeah. All right. Yes, hey. sir. When do I fight? Saturday night in Newark. You're boxing a kid named Sammy Holmes in a four-round prelim. Good. I've never been to Jersey. Yeah, we can shoot over to New York, have a little fun, you know. Right on. Hey, you. <laughs> Not Newark, New Jersey. It's Newark, Ohio. I've been calling your hotel. Didn't you get the messages? Oh, yeah, I got them. Well, I was afraid you'd been arrested. What'd they do to you? Nothing. They didn't do nothing to me, huh? But it's crazy, Bobby. Hey, Ma, I'm turning pro. Pro? Yeah. I got my first fight in, in Ohio on Saturday, and uh, Gus is lining up some other fights in the East for me. Huh? And when are you going to be back? Well, uh, I don't know. Not for a while, I guess. Thanks for telling me. Oh, hey. It's more than he did. What does that mean? Just what the hell does that mean? Hey, look, I came over here to say goodbye, and you're acting... You're acting... Like, like what? Like I'm hurt? Yeah. You're damn right I'm hurt. I mean, first you get yourself in jail. Now you're going away. What am I supposed to do? Shout hooray? You'll be okay, Ma. How do you know? Look, I didn't come over here to fight with you, Ma. 
Don't call me Ma. Well, what do you want me to call you? Look, you came over here to say goodbye, didn't you? So why don't you just say goodbye? Goodbye, have a swell trip. I'm not running out on you. I'm coming back. I ain't like him. The hell you're not. I ain't him, I'm me. The other fighters have already weighed in, but uh, we held your opponent until you got here. Uh, okay. yeah, for the pictures? Yeah. Uh, you want to follow me? Now, this is what you call the boon dance. <laughs> oh, uh, come on, Talon. We're waiting on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allen, 181 and a half. All right, soldier. What's this banana doing here? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Caputo, but... Uh, We're supposed to be fighting Sammy Holmes. Sammy Holmes got sick, and they, uh, they sent me Soldier Bartlett. Uh, Bartlett, uh, 193 and a quarter. Well, uh, what's your problem? He's a main event fighter. This is supposed to be a four-round prelim, right? It's a lot more than that, Mr. Caputo. Uh, Joe, hand me the paper. You've seen that. All right, come on. Get your clothes on and we'll have some dinner. We'll see you later. This guy looks like he can fight. If he could fight, he wouldn't look like that. Hi, right, boys. You're boxing the rules of the Ohio Athletic Commission, and all I want is a clean box. There'll be no punch them back in the kidneys, and no punch them back in the neck, and please watch your low blows, because low blows mean you'll lose the round. Shake hands out and come out fighting. Find a soft spot to fall, pretty boy. I'm going home early. Take it nice and easy. This guy's been going 10 rounds. Not tonight, again. Nice and easy. Right, Try not to knock out the ref. tomorrow. Good work. Oh, terrific. Except you kept your chin up too high on that second hook. <laughs> <laughs> right. When's the next fight, Gus? Uh, we fight next week in Pottstown, then Harrisburg, then Steubenville. Fighting every week, huh? Yeah, more than that. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. Come in. You were terrific. Uh, thanks. I didn't see you there. You weren't looking. No, I guess I wasn't. 
Can I come in? Kirk's gonna be back in a few minutes. No, he won't. Well, come on in. What are you grinning about? Yes. <laughs> you're just lying there thinking you're pretty good, aren't you? I don't know. <laughs> What's it like when you hit someone? What's it like? What does it feel like? I don't know. I guess it feels good. Yeah, it feels good. Like when I decked that guy tonight. It, I gotta admit, it felt good right down to my toes. Yeah, I felt that too. Yeah? <laughs> Does everyone be the champion? What, of Newark, Ohio? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, the world. Yeah. I guess I think about it sometimes, but... Bobby? Hmm? Never lie to me. Michelle, I, I never have lied to you. Oh, I, I did lie to you once. Asked me if I'd ever seen my old man after he split. Well, I did sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Well, I was about 11. And mommy, we'd been traveling again. And we came back to the, the neighborhood. And then. One night, she got all dressed up to go out, but she wouldn't tell me where she was going. And so I, I followed her. <laughs> I don't know why, I just did. She got on a train to go down to the loop, and I got in the car next to her so she wouldn't see me. And uh, we went all the way downtown, and she got out and walked a couple of blocks to this restaurant called uh, Kate and Inn. And, uh, well, she went in, and I waited. She came out with him. Who's your father? Yeah. Jack Fallon. I wanted to run across the street, but I couldn't move. Why? I don't know. I guess I was scared. I mean, maybe, maybe they were going to get back together again.
Well, I came home at four in the morning, and I asked her where she'd been. She told me she went to the movies. So she poured herself a drink and went in the bedroom, and she began to cry. Did you ever tell her that you saw? No. Ma wouldn't, she wouldn't have liked that, you know? She just isn't that way. Never saw your father again. No. Mm. Good morning, Gus. Yeah. It's a little disappointing, though. Huh? How much? $136.44. Uh, $136.44. After taxes. Well, we're rich, Kirk. We can retire now. Don't worry. The purses are going to get bigger. Yeah, much bigger? Forget about the money. The money will come. I hope so. Yeah, otherwise we're going to starve to death before we get back to Chicago. Bobby, the money's important, but you just don't do it for the money. Now, what do you do it for then, Gus? The beauty. You do it for the beauty. Good coverage. Just terrific. I thought the narration would pick up with Bobby Fallon after the riot at the Golden Gloves. There's some terrific stills on that. And then we go on to nine fights in eight weeks and nine knockouts. You know, Ring Magazine just named him Prospect of the Month. They're calling him the new White Hope. And several people I interviewed said they may be bringing him to the garden. Listen, get this together as fast as you can, huh? You must have threw some punch. Who's that? Walker Lewis in the garden last night. Flattened Jerry Pinch out in 47 seconds of the first round. Yeah. Knocked out all his front teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah? Says here he might be the next champ. Who's this? I want you to relax. No, no, what's this guy's name? Walker Lewis. Never heard of him. He's been around, but never a contender before. He's an animal. Used to break heads for a union here in St. Louis. And he gets a fight in the garden? She must have found a goomba. A what? A sponsor, a protector, you know, someone with connections, someone could push him along real fast. Say, Gus, you know the matchmaker in the garden, don't you? Joe Jorgensen, I know him for years. Why don't you give him a call, then? It's too soon. You're not ready yet. I'm ready for anybody. She's gone. Gone for a couple of months now. Where'd she go? Headed south, um, Florida, someplace. Uh, who'd she go with? She didn't say. You know how she is, just ups and leaves. Uh, you want to come in for some coffee, Bobby? Oh, no, no, no thanks, Charlie. No. If I hear from her, I'll tell her.
Walker. Fella, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, white boy. I'm gonna get you real good, you understand? Hey, I'm ready for you, Walker. No, not now. I'm gonna make you wait. You know why? Because I wanna see you suffer. I want you to think about the whipping I'm gonna give you. You are dead meat, man. Dead meat. Hey, why don't you go get your gloves on right now, Walker? Come on, get in here! Back it up, huh? You got a big mouth, you know that? A big mouth! You'll never hear the ref count ten. <laughs> Sure, I'll fight Walker Lewis. You go out there and get him, I'll fight him right now. Uh, we heard that the Royal Chartered Productions of close circuit people often put you on a doubleheader with Lewis. Hey, Tim, what doubleheader is that? Hey, well, I don't know. hey, I guess I got here too late. You guys always beat me to hey, it, Joe, huh? Joe, what's going on here? What do you mean, doubleheader? Bobby fights Gene Bosto. Walker Lewis goes against Joe Norman. Now, everybody agrees that the top four contenders, the winners, to fight each other for the title. Hey, take it, Gus. Let's talk about this, Bobby. I don't know what he's talking about. Come on, come on, come on. Let's take it. I haven't heard a firm offer yet about any double header. The price is going to be right, Gus. Six big figures. Oh, come on, Gus. We got to take it. Go on. You heard what he said. Everybody heard it. Where? Las Vegas. Oh. And when is this championship fight going to take place? Look, six months, next year, whenever you want. Joe, you put it in writing. You got it. What do you say? Yeah, okay. Fine, you heard it, boys. Make sure you get it right. Joe Jorgensen presents the double bill of the century. Are you sure you know what you're doing? You really put Gus on the spot. Yeah, I know, I know. Why? Did you see Walker Lewis tonight when he walked up to the ring? Yeah. Bobby, though, it's just for publicity. You know that. Yeah, 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 sure. I gotta tell you something, Michelle. When he when he walked up there and waved that big fist in my face, I was scared. Yeah. I was scared. Bobby? Hmm? Somebody out there to see you, babe. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, Bobby. <laughs> You were terrific. Oh, I was so proud of you. I almost busted a gut. Ma, where have you been? Miami, can't you tell? Yeah, you, you got a nice tan. <laughs> oh, uh, I want you to meet a friend of mine now. This is uh, Michelle Gordon. Michelle, this is my ma. <laughs> yes, nice to meet you, Mrs. Fallon. Kate. Call me Kate. Hey, how about buying me a drink, huh? Yeah, sure. Uh, let me get finished dressing here, and I'll be right with you. I'll wait outside. Oh. Like a while. <laughs> I tell you, when Anderson slipped that hook in off the jam, I thought I saw the yellow light. He really did. Locked out there. What do you say, Fallon? My name is Corrigan. Hi. And tell me you fought a fine fight. Yeah. I'd like to ask you something. No, no, you never arrested me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nothing like that, something else, sir. Well, go ahead and ask her. Would you by any chance be related to a Jack Fallon? Yeah, it's my old man. <laughs> oh, gee. When I heard you from the south side of Chicago, I thought maybe you might be related. Did you know him? Did I know Jack Fallon? We were kids together. We were all the boys at St. Stanislaus Church. Did I know Jack Fallon? I love Jack Fallon. He was the toughest fish I ever met. Did you know him too? I married him. Uh, when's the last time you saw him? Well, I'm ashamed to say it was about 25 years ago. It was a going away party when I went to the Navy. Oh, Jack, he was there with, with three girls. Oh, no offense intended, ma'am, but Jack was a good looking fellow. All the girls thought so. Yeah. Well, what do you hear from old Jack now? He's dead. He's dead? That's right. Oh, am I sorry to hear that. Jack 
Jack had so much heart. He had more heart than anybody I ever met. Well, uh, well, I, I, I better get outside and see what the boys are doing. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that about Jack. He was... Well, he was my friend. Of, it was nice to meet you. Good night, Mrs. Well, he must be dead by now. He's dead to me anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. What are you going to do now? Uh, they're supposed to have this big doubleheader in Vegas next month, and they want me and Walker Lewis to fight two other guys. Las Vegas? Yeah. You ever been there? No. It's, it's going to be very exciting. That's right. And you, and you see, the uh, two winners of that fight will get a shot at the title later on. Oh, that's you and the guy we saw tonight, right? The one in the white with all the gold? Uh, yeah, yeah. Walker Lewis, right. Oh, Bobby, he's bigger than you are. <laughs> Most of them are, right, Michelle? Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is it. Oh. Hey, uh, maybe we can go in and have a nightcap or something, huh? Oh, Bobby, it's getting awfully late. Yeah, I guess so. But it was a terrific fight. Thanks, Ed. Thanks for coming and seeing me. Look, I'll give you a call in the morning or something, all right? Good night. You and your mother are very much alike. What? We're watching the two of you just now. Yeah. You know, she didn't say a word to me all evening. Oh, well, Michelle, you didn't exactly talk to her either. Well, Bobby, under the circumstances. What circumstances? I felt like I wasn't even there. Oh, Michelle, don't be silly. Bobby! No, no. Let's go. But where, Ma? To Las Vegas. Vegas? Yeah, I mean, let's just rent a car and drive clear across country. Well, I don't have any money. Gus has got all the money. I, I got to get a hold of him. How long did that take? Two, three days? What? I don't know. I don't care. Let's just do it. OK, all right. <laughs> OK. Sure. I'll uh, come by, pick you up uh, sometime between 8 and 9 in the morning, OK? Great. OK. All right. See you tomorrow. OK, okay. All right. <laughs> Um, you're going with your mother? Yeah. Just like that? Just like what? She, she, she wants to go with me. Sounds more like you're going with her. Same thing, isn't it? What about me? What about you? Am I invited? Yeah, sure you are. I'll see you out in Vegas. Come on. No. Oh, come on, No, Michelle. no, you won't. I won't be there, Bobby. I mean it. I'm not going to be there. Why not? I'm not that big a fool. What are you talking about? Your mother. That's what I'm talking about. Your precious Kate. The minute she's with you, Bobby, you forget about everything else, including me. Look, you can't have it both ways. Hey, what are you asking me to do? Choose? That's right. I want you to choose. If you go with her, Bobby, that's all there is. That's the end. Hey, Michelle, she's my mother. Well, that's not how you act. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, I do. I never want to see you again. Listen, Fallon, go to hell.
Oh, 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 look at this, kids. Oh, oh, boy. Pretty fancy, huh? I'll say. Oh, here you go. Uh, why don't you put my mom's bags in the room over there? Yes, sir, Mr. Fallon. I'm sure you're going to find this comfortable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you hear that, Mr. Fallon? Want to go downstairs and gamble or do something? Hey, Ma, could you get that? It's probably Gus. I heard you just got in town, so I figured I'd come down to see how you're doing. Hey, Freddie. From the looks of things, you're doing okay. Uh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Where's Gus? He just went down to the casino to get Kirk. Oh, yeah? Why? Well, when I left him, he was down 2,000. Kirk? Where'd he get that kind of money? Beats me, kid. He's got some Spanish bro with him. She sings in some bus stop joint downtown, but uh, I don't know where he picked her up. All right, all right, all right. I'll, uh, I'll try to talk to him, and I'll get a hold of you later, okay? Yolanda Chacon here. Hi, Yolanda. Excuse me. Okay, we're talking about a ten now. Sixes, fours, and sevens, and threes. Who's this seven lose? And what? Losing, huh? Yeah, I get it back. I get it back. All right. Look, uh, why don't you take your friend and go get a bite to eat? I'm not hungry. Hey, Kirk, go get something to eat. Hey, look, uh, you're making me miss my point, all right? You and Gus, son? Come Just get off my case, all right? All right, what do we got here? been taken care of. You just lie there and rest, Mrs. Fallon. You'll be feeling fine. I'll find my own way out. Yeah. Did you know he was here? No, I didn't know. Never been sure about him. What about me? Were you sure about me? You? Yeah. About you, I've always been sure. You're my flesh and blood.
You son of a bitch. Go to hell. I'm sorry about me. Sorry is good enough. Well, right now, that's all I got. Why'd you have to show up here? I don't want you. And Why don't you just die, huh? Live out here? Sometimes. Sure. You were seeing her all those years, weren't you? No. But you kept in touch. I sent her some money from time to time. She always knew how to leave a message that could find me. Simple as that, huh? What about me? You didn't care about me, did you? You know, when I was little, I used to go to the ball games or movies or something, and I'd pretend you were there with me. <laughs> what a joke, huh? What do you want me to say? Don't say nothing. You ran out on Kate, and you ran out on me. I can't help that now, can I? What do you want from her? Look, she didn't know I was here, and I didn't know she was coming. What do you want? I just want you to be reasonable. You know, I ought to beat the hell out of you. That wouldn't be very smart. What do you say, kid? When'd you get in? Last night. I heard you drove all the way, huh? That's right. I always want to do that myself, drive cross country. Didn't you, Arthur? Not really. Hi, Bobby. I'm Arthur Young. Arthur's with the fight. This is Lou Stevens from the closed circuit. Hi. Hi. I guess you heard the news, huh? What news? About Joe Norman. Hey, he broke a hand. The fight's off at Walker Lewis. Yeah, unless, of course, something even better happens. Oh, you mean, uh, like if I fight Walker Lewis, right? Huh? Could be the fight of the century. Look, we got about 10 million tied up in this doubleheader already. But we already know that nobody's going to fill the theaters to watch Norman or the other guy. Gene Barstow is his name, and he's a pretty good fighter and the number four contender. Yeah, yeah, Barstow. Yeah, right. that's right. Well, anyway, we figure we can move Barstow out of the way without too much grief. Still keep the dates, print new tickets, and make you with Lewis. He'll do 20 million worldwide. Hey, where's my manager, Gus Caputo, huh? Well, that's one of the problems, Bobby. The problem is... Gus doesn't want you to fight, Lewis. Well, then I don't want to fight him either. What can I take? Hey, Bobby, how you doing? Pull up a chair here, have a drink, you know. Yolanda here? Hey, what are you doing here? Oh. Drink a little bit, a little food, pool over there. Yeah, I can see that. What else? That's about it. Are you still down 2000 at the casino? Excuse me. Yeah, something like that. Oh, you mean it's more? Tell me something. Those guys in there, they told you they'd cancel their debt at the casino if you'd deliver me for the Walker Lewis fight. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, Bobby. The money, cash, the Gitas. Yeah, I'm down. 
Ever since I did that bit in the can on account of you. Every place we went, I got the small stakes, babe. I'm the guy who washes the tapes, who cleans the robes, who rubs your back, who keeps you laughing, huh? And beats the fans off you. And what do I get out of this, huh, Bobby? A hundred bucks here, 50 bucks there. A thank you, maybe. And why, huh? Because Gus wants it his way? He wants you fighting in those tank towns against them stiffs for no money. And when we get to the garden and we really score and it looks like we're on our way, he starts looking to duck. He's chicken. Hey, Bobby, Gus don't want this fight. He don't want this Walker Lewis. He wants you back out there on the road fighting against nuns and sheriffs and, and stiffs. And this Walker Lewis is going to make all the money left in America. <laughs> it's funny, huh? Yeah, well, I, I, I want this fight, Bobby. You bet your sweetness I want this fight. Hey, come on in, kid. All I want is those things we talked about in jail. Granted, I, I want the money. I want the clothes. I, I want the women. You make this fight, Bobby, and we got all of that. Hey, we deserve it, man. We, we worked for it. You, you know, <laughs> you know, now you owe it to me, Bobby. Hmm? Yeah, that's right. You, what? You owe it to me. Don't say that. Yeah, uh, you, you do. You owe it to Don't me. Don't say you that. You owe it to me. Don't you know? say that! Don't say that, Kirk! You just calm down and relax, you hear? Well, why don't you take this Yolanda here, get in one of the cars and go back to the hotel. I'll talk to these guys. You don't need to hang around here. Yeah, I do. Uh, your old man told me to hang around till you were finished. My old man tell you to take care of that little problem of yours at the casino, too? Yeah, he said he'd help. <laughs> I see. Bobby! Your guy Gus is here. Oh. Hang in there, Kirk. Hi, Gus. Hi, Bobby. Have a good trip? Yeah, it was OK. Well, what's going on here? Uh, Joe Norman's out of the fight. He broke his hand. We got a doctor's letter and everything. So at that kind of gait, we figured to make Bobby here with Lewis. 30 million easy. What do you think? What do I think? I think we should go home. What? Hey, wait, wait, let me explain. Hey, wait a minute. Come on, calm down, gentlemen, please. I think we should explain the deal to Mr. Caputo with all its implications, and then I think we should let him sleep on it. And who are you? I'm Bobby's father. You never mentioned your father was going to be out here. There was nothing to mention. I didn't know he was here either. I think we should cut through all this garbage. I know you don't have a contract with my son. What's more, I know that in most states, an unwritten contract, even an oral contract, isn't binding. In other words, I know that Bobby Fallon can talk for himself, make up his own mind. You don't talk for me, you do. You're the manager. That's what I thought when I got out here. That's what I just said. Do they know that? Do these bananas know that? And what do you mean implications? Explain me that. Very simple. The Walker Lewis people want you to know that if you don't take this fight right now, Bobby Fallon will never get a shot at the title as long as Lewis holds it. And believe me, if Bobby doesn't fight him, the title will belong to Lewis. And just who are the Walker Lewis people? We are. Well, that has nothing to do with us. We're fighting Barstow.
Hi, Gus. Come on in. Barstow's out. Oh. He strained a back muscle. He's in the hospital in L.A. I just got a call from Joe Jorgensen to tell me how sorry he was. Yeah? What does that mean? What does it mean? It means it's a setup. They want you to fight Walker Lewis. Well, what do you want to do? What do I want to do? I'm going to relax, walk around, and go home. Come in? No. I want to talk to you, Bobby. Why? They cut you off down at the casino? Look, uh, there's some heavy rumors going around. Some bad talk. Uh, unless you take this fight. Unless I take this fight, what? Huh? My old man tell you to come up here and tell me that? I'm telling you, Bobby. I'm just telling you. Well, thanks. I spent uh, last night at your old man's place. Oh, yeah? Your mother was there. It's his house. I don't want to see him. Don't be ridiculous. He's your father. You knew he was here all the time, didn't you? No. no I told you that. I told you. I wasn't sure. What happens now? says no. Yeah, but the papers, everybody says you I don't care what the papers say. I don't have to oh, fight anybody. What do you think I ought to do? I guess you ought to fight him. Why? For the money. I mean, there isn't any other reason, is there? Yeah, there's another reason. Yeah, what other reason? Beauty. I do it for the beauty. For the beauty? Yeah, that's right. It ain't just the money. I see. I'm sorry I laughed. I didn't mean to hurt you. You're always hurting me. But, you know, you're, you're always leaving me. You know, you saw him and you left me just like that. He's my husband. What am I? Okay, you belong to me. You know what I want? No. This is 
just want us to go home. Talk to Gus? Yeah, we're going back to Chicago. Is that what you want? That's what Gus wants. Where's my mother? I don't know. She was gone when I left the house. Well, where'd she go? Shopping, I guess. She just went. Like you, huh? Don't talk like a punk. Hey, you ran. I didn't. Punks run. Uh, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Look, um, I'd like to make a deal with you. What deal? Take the fight. If you take the fight, I'll get out of Kate's life and I'll stay out of yours. For good. That's what you want, isn't it? Look, I'll just disappear. You're pretty good at disappearing, aren't you? It's my main act. Look, I mean it, Bobby. I'll be gone for good. Well? All right. I'll tell Gus I'm taking a fight. Now you're acting smart. But when this is over, I don't ever want to see you again. You understand? Sure. Oh, one other thing. Yeah? Uh, this. <laughs> so long, Dad. Say, uh, I've been giving some thought to this uh, Walker Lewis deal. You're kidding me. I don't believe what I'm hearing. I think I'm going to take the fight, Gus. You're not going to take the fight. I'm the manager, and you're the fighter. And I don't want you to take the fight. That's our deal. I thought it all out, and I'm going to take the fight. You have to take it without me. Oh, come on, Gus. You're my manager. Don't be giving me that. I don't want it this way, kid. I'm asking you, just this one time, I'm asking you as a favor. Not this fight. Gus, listen, you know what? You know what's going on? No, you listen to you know... me. I, I don't want you to fight this fight. You go back to the hotel, pack your clothes, go to the airport, and meet me in the gym tomorrow in Chicago. This fight isn't for you. You understand? Not now. All the commissions say it's for the title, Gus. In a year from now, it'll still be for the title. I want you to fight some guys. I want you to put on some muscle, get some weight on you. And you take on this bum, and for a lot of money, and for the title, and you'll beat him. But not now. I'm sorry, I'm gonna take the fight. Why? I got reasons. You got reasons. Where does it say you can have reasons? It doesn't say it anywhere, but I got reasons, okay? All right. I'm sorry, kid. I think you're making a mistake. Hey! Place, huh? <laughs> really? Think we'll fill it? It's sold out. Well, you don't sound very happy about it, Freddy. I want Gus to come back. Why? Something's wrong here, Bobby, and I don't know what it is, but something's off. Gus ain't gonna come back. You know how he feels. If I called him, he'd come. I don't think you need Gus anymore, Bobby. What's that supposed to mean? I just don't think he needs Gus anymore. You get out of here, I'll flatten you. Oh, 
Oh, man, I don't know about you two. He may be a friend of yours, Bobby, but he don't know nothing about boxing. This may be how to carry a pail. Well, you want me to call Gus or not? Nah. Okay. I just thought I'd ask you. Yeah. Mesdames et messieurs, nous vous parlons de Las Vegas, Nevada. so I don't want you to look at him, okay? Okay. What's he doing now? Just standing there. How? Like he's waiting for the bus. Ladies and gentlemen, the feature bout of the evening in the red corner. Weighing 218 pounds in the red trunks with the black stripes from East St. Louis, Illinois, the number one contender in the world, Walker Lewis. Lewis. with the white stripe from Chicago, Illinois, Irish Bobby Fallon. Referee's instruction. I both you men have received instructions from the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Let's have a good, clean fight, and I want you to listen to me at all times. When I tell you to break out of a clinch, I want you both to take one step back. If you get knocked down, you must take an eight count. The man showing you knocked down will go to the farthest corner and stay there until I tell you to come out. Watch your little punches, your kidney punches, your rabbit punches. Any questions? Right, shake hands now, we'll let them open. Just take it slow, and don't get careless. Stick and move and stay out of his reach. When you get an opening to hit him, hit him. Just a few seconds before the start of the fight here in Las Vegas, this is a battle of two very strong heavyweights. Lewis, the number one contender, 
Here we go, round one, heavyweight fight here in Las Vegas. Walker Lewis and Bobby Fallon in the green. Bobby Fallon in the green. Fallon backing off. Lewis coming hard. He's got Fallon in the corner. Lewis chasing Fallon. He's got Fallon in the corner. Lewis is the aggressor here. 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 Lewis in the red. Lewis firing in the middle of the ring. Lewis goes with a right to the head. Fallon. Fallon comes back hard with a left and a right. Fallon scores with a left. Left by Fallon. Another left by Fallon. Fallon driving Lewis back. Lewis coming in now. Lewis scores with a left. Lewis in the corner, ready to come back to Fallon. Can't tell whether Fallon is dazed or not. Lewis coming in for the kill now. Lewis is pouring in on him. Rex and right. Fallon protected himself. Coming in now. Fallon scores with the left of Sue. Lewis coming in. Another the left by Lewis. Fallon protecting himself. Fallon coming in now. Fallon scores with the Fallon scores with a high left to the chin. Lewis is down. Lewis is down. Two knockdowns in the first round in Las Vegas. Lewis wants to come back. It's a mandatory eight count. Lewis is angry. The referee's holding Lewis back. It looks like he wants to make good his word here. Lewis coming hard into the foul now. Into the ropes. Lewis has foul into the ropes. Lewis is holding him. Fallon is protecting himself. Nothing Fallon can do. Lewis is pouring into him into the corner. There's a cut over Fallon's right eye. The referee has warned Lewis for flooding with his head. Fallon is badly cut on the right eye. Lewis is coming after him hard now. Lewis is savage. Pounding his left, left, right, Fallon. Protecting himself. Lewis is trying to finish him off. Fallon against the ropes. But Lewis is giving him everything he has. All right, the right arm's up with. Round one, and right back to round two. What a day. You gotta protect yourself, Bobby. You gotta protect yourself. You stick and move, you hear me? Stick and move. Yeah. Keep your right hand up. Yeah. Lips. We're back with round two of this heavyweight fight from Las Vegas. Bobby Fallon and Walker. Fallon is coming on strong with hard lefts to the face. Fallon was almost gone in that first round. Lewis scores with a right to the head. Lewis coming in now. And they're mixing it up in the middle. Fallon coming on hard now. Fallon backing Lewis up against the road. Lewis can set it Fallon. He was almost down and out in the first round. Referee Stanberg separates the two fighters. Fallon stops Lewis. Lewis scores. Fallon is down. Let him put you on the ropes. You hear me? Mm -hmm. You okay, Bobby? Mm -hmm. Don't let him get you on the ropes. Stick and move. Take a breath. Almost. Let's see where we go. Fallon comes out strong. Thanks to 
Honduras. Walker conecta con has come back. This is the second time Lewis has been down in the fight. Referee Stanberg is holding it back. It's a mandatory eight count. Lewis is angry. It'll be a mandatory eight count. All right, here comes Lewis back. Fallon has regained his strength. Coming on hard now. And there goes Lewis against the feeling, kid? Ma? I'm here. Who won? Lewis won. Yeah. How bad was it, Freddy? You fought him, kid. You really fought him. Coming from the arena, sports writers were saying they never saw anything like it. I don't know about that. You put him down, don't you remember? And you put him down good. How many times was I down? Four times. Oh. They count me out? Nah, they stopped at kind of the cuts. What? I'm still here. Did you see it? There's really something, Bobby. I'm sorry. You don't have anything to be sorry for. You're saying you have heart, Bobby. You have more heart than anybody I know. Hey, Freddy. Yeah? Thanks for sticking with me. Don't thank me for that. Sticking with just my job. Bobby, you feel okay to deal with this? Yeah, it's okay, Freddy. Let him in. Great fight, Bobby. Great fight. Listen, the doctor said he took 12 stitches. You think it was from a butt? I don't know. Maybe, Nick. Well, what did you feel like when you knocked Lewis down and then when he got up? Guys, I tell you, I don't remember him going down. I don't remember him getting up. <laughs> You think you gave away too much weight? Maybe. You think you should have waited another year? Yeah, maybe. It's the greatest heavyweight fight I ever saw. You broke Lewis's jaw, you know that? Yeah. Hey, kid, we're in Vegas. They're all losers, too, remember? I'm gonna go, go put the bags in the car. Yeah, all right, thanks, Freddy. Hey, babe, I called the hotel, right? I got food coming up Kirk. to the suite. It's all laid Kirk. out, everything. You got your money, right? I don't owe you nothing. Hey, Bobby, what are hey. you... Hey! You and me are even, you understand? Now, you get out of my life. Don't work. <laughs> no, <I> agree. <laughs> I 
was a hell of a fight. You made a deal. I know. I'm keeping it. What deal? What deal? Uh, he's going away, Ma. Not without me. I made a deal. She didn't. I'm going away. The rest is up to her. Ma. He's going to leave you again. You know that, don't you? Where do you think he's going to take you, the Caton Inn? I don't know. Maybe. You're going to leave with him? Where was he all those years, huh? He wasn't there. It was me. I was the one who was there. He never showed up unless he wanted something, like now, here. You made money, a lot of it. Hey, that's not why I took the fight, and you know that. What are you going to do? I love you, Bobby. I've always loved you. Ever since you were little. I love you too, Kate. I ain't a little bit anymore. Give me a beer. How are you doing? What are you doing here? Oh, I uh, just got in today. Freddie told me you were over here. Yeah? So what do you want? Well, uh, you were right. I was wrong. I wasn't ready. That's all I wanted to say. You were ready. You have to have some more experience. You've got to fight a few more guys, find out what you're doing. That's my opinion, anyway. Gus, they want a rematch. Yeah? Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Uh, well, uh, they're talking about sometime this summer, like uh, July or August, you know? And uh, I thought I'd work on a few of those uh, mistakes I made, and... Uh, Gain a little weight, like you wanted me to do. Come on, Gus. Let's do this one for the beauty. <laughs> <laughs> 